Okay, we are on question number five of exercise 13.1. And for this, it's given that in the retail market, food vendors were selling mangoes kept in packing boxes. And these boxes, these boxes contained a varying number of mangoes. And following is the distribution of mangoes according to the number of the boxes. And the, the number of boxes, number of mangoes are 50 to 52 in 15 boxes and 53 to 55. So this class interval ends at 52 and this begins at 53. So this is the discontinuous class intervals. And we need to make them continuous class intervals for them. Uh, we will subtract 0.5. From that is we subtract point five from lower limit and this is a case of discontinuous class intervals. So we will subtract negative point five from lower limit and we will add point five to upper limit to make it a continuous distribution of data. So let's uh, subtract negative 0.5 from lower limit. So the plus first, let's write down the class intervals, which is the number of mangoes. So the first one, if we subtract for, uh, 0.5 from 50 it would be 49.5 and keep on adding 0.5 to the upper limit which will, which will be 52.5 now subtract 0.5 from 53 which will be 52 this is 52.5 and add 0.5 to 55, which will be 55.5. Similarly, subtract 0.5 from 56, which is now 55.5, and add 0.5 to 58, which is 58.5. Now subtract 0.5 from 59, which is 58.5 negative and subtract add 0.5 to 61 which is 61.5 subtract 0.5 from 62 which is now 61.5 and this is 64.5 now this is a case of continuous class interval we have converted the discontinuous class intervals into the continuous class intervals Let's put some lines. Okay, next column would be for number of boxes, that is the frequency. So the number of boxes, that is the frequency Fi which is 15, 110, 135, and 115, next is 25. Now let's find out the class marks because we have to find the mean. So I would prefer here the step deviation method class marks is the lower limit plus upper limit divided by two. This for the first one is 49.5 plus 52.5, which is nine to 11 and 12, five, four, nine and 10, 102. And if you divide it by two, which will give me 51. So the class marks here is 51. Similarly, lower and the upper limit plus we add them and divide it by 2, which will give me 54. 
so this is 54 and here the difference is 3 so I will keep on adding 3 so now this is 57 this is 60 and this is 63 so 51 54 57 60 and 63 now let's find the difference okay here the middle value of the class marks is 57 so this is our resume mean so i will write it in here a is 57 and we are going to find the difference here and the difference is of class marks so we have to subtract and assume the mean from every class mark so 51 minus 57 is negative 6 it's negative 3 0 3 and 6. now to make the calculations easier we are going to divide the difference with the class size and the class size is the upper limit minus the lower limit which will give me three so if i divide every so class size we basically denote class size that is the upper limit minus the lower limit and it's same in every class intervals so i got it in here three minus five minus forty nine point five which is equal to three so I'm going to divide each difference with three, which is going to be negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. And because we are using the step division methods, so our next column will be fi into ui. So this is fi into ui. So fi into ui. This is negative thirty, negative one hundred and ten and it is zero this is one one five and 25 into 2 is 15. Okay. so negative 30 negative 110 0 115 and 50. okay if i add them so let me first add the negative terms which will be negative 140 and if i add them it's five six one sixty five and if you add these two terms which are giving me 165 minus 140 which is 25 so this is sigma summation of sigma fi into ui which is 25. now it's given that uh it's not given so we'll have to find the number of boxes as well so let's find the summation of sigma fi so in this case 15 plus 110 is 125 125 and 135 is 260 and 260 and so if we add all these it's 5 5 10 20 2 3 4 3 7 8 9 10 and one two three and four so this is 400 now to find the mean using the step division method the formula is a plus sigma fi into ui upon sigma fi into h which is class size so his mean mean was 57 sigma fi into ui is 25 and it's 400 it's 3 so it's 25 h is 400 so we have 57 plus 3 by 8 so 57 plus 3 by 8 which will give me it's 3 by 8 so 3 by 8 is 0 0.5 Okay. So we have to divide three by eight and it's twenty-five eights are is eight fives are forty eight to the sixteen and four is twenty, so it's not a it's five fives are is twenty-five eighty. 
and five one that is five and it's thirty so sixteen is three by sixteen so this is three by sixteen so fifty one plus three by sixteen so if I divide 3 by 16, which will give me 0 0.1875, so this is 0 0.1875, so R mean is 57.1875, and if I round this to two decimal places, that is up to here, because it's greater than 5, so I will add 1 to 8. So this is mean is equal to 57.19. And in the end, we can write that mean number of boxes. So mean number of boxes is equal to 57.19. One noun, and we choose this method because calculation is easier. So we can write why do we choose this method? We choose this method because calculation is easier. Okay, so we are done with question number five and let's move on to question number six. Thank you for watching.